Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the NAMM show in Anaheim, California, and I'm with a guest who needs no introduction, but I'm going to give her one anyway, and Sylvia Massey. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. We're here at NAMM. We are, and we are on the Antelope Audio booth. Yes. Um, uh, we're talking Atmos. Yeah, we are. Because how, you, how long have you been mixing in Atmos? Well, let's see. Uh, we started setting up the room about three years ago, and then we started actually uh, into production on Atmos mixes about a year ago. Um, but we have steady we have steady clientele that keeps us busy, and so I've been doing a lot of Atmos mixing now. I can say because the tools for Atmos mixing have changed a lot, even in that yeah. three years. Yes. Three years ago, we were all bodging together, kind of Pro Tools mix with. Lord knows what to try yeah. and just make it work. And now we've got some much more streamlined tools, I suppose. Yeah. So I, I gather the centerpiece of your rig is the Antelope Galaxy 64. Yeah, in fact, three years ago when we started, when, when we went to approach uh, building an Atmos room, uh, I did research on what was available for um, our situation, which we have a 9.1.4 Genelec system that utilizes uh, AES-EBU uh, inputs on the speakers for digital inputs. And so I looked at my options and uh, of anything that was available, really the antelope was really the only solution that made sense for us. And uh, I started with the Galaxy 64, which is an extremely powerful I.O. Uh, it not only has uh, uh, 64 ins and outs analog, but it, it has onboard uh, plugins, which are, are uh, great because you can commit on the way into the recorder, which is just like an analog desk. Um, and it, it is adaptive to the room and the project that I'm working on. So for instance, there's four different personalities that I'll use in my studio. Because I'm not always recording or, or mixing Atmos. Uh, oftentimes I'll be mixing stereo. And for the stereo mixes, I use a dangerous music uh, summing mixer. So uh, the antelope works great for that. Also any stereo mixing, no, it's, there's, it's flawless. And then also I'll be either tracking or I'll mix in um, analog. And so I'll, I'll put all the outputs of the Pro Tools through my desk, which is a Rupert Neve Designs 24 channel. So I'm using a hybrid approach for that. And then I'll use uh, outboard gear for compression and EQ, extra EQ, including uh, EQ on the stereo bus. So, so that's a lot more analog. Um, than, uh, than you know, doing these Atmos mixes, which is generally in the box. So the great thing about the Antelope, the Galaxy, is that I can easily call up these presets that I've made ahead of time for any of the personalities that I'm using. So if I'm, it, you know, if, if one day, in, in one day I may do a stereo mix in the morning and an Atmos mix in the afternoon, and it's just a matter of calling up the presets and then the I.O. opens up and, and it routes everything correctly. Uh, it, any changes can be done, but once it's all set up, boy, I don't have to, it's rock solid. This, the, the box is, is surprisingly stable, uh, no complaints, and it's beautiful, it sounds great. And so, you know, I'm a huge fan of the antelope box. I, I've been talking a lot. <laughs> and Maybe you, I'm gushing a little too much about it. Are you doing your Atmos speaker calibration within the within the uh, Galaxy then, or does that happen in the speakers themselves? Well, the speakers themselves, the, the Genelec system has its own software for adaptive uh, uh, EQ equalization, and there's a microphone that comes with that. So I will um, set up the mic in the center of the room or in, in this in sitting in the, the listening position and then it, it'll adapt, it'll adjust for that. So I don't use any any calibration within the antelope for that, but I understand that that's a possibility too. 
And how about monitor control? I mean, just simply turning the whole lot of speakers up and down well, is that's a technical issue. Now, now, that is very exciting. That's a new product with Antelope is the monitor control and the switching between the speaker configurations, which, which I'm really uh, excited about. Yeah, that's the new remote, which is just coming out now, yeah. I gather. Yeah. Well, I'm reading all about it, and, and I'm uh, anxious to, to give it a shot. Amazing. So, I mean, if, we, if we're lucky enough to have an Atmos playback system, what, what mixes have you done that what we can hear? Oh, goodness. Well, what has come out most recently are the Jason Isbell uh, record. The Jason Isbell record will come out in, in its entirety in June. But now we've got two songs that have been released uh, in both stereo and Atmos. So on Apple Music, you can hear that the immersive mixes of the song Death Wish and uh, Middle of the Morning. They're available now. But I really recommend that, that you take a listen to the entire record because the, the entire record was done in Atmos and it's beautiful. It's really... Uh, it just hugs you like a blanket. It's just like your favorite blanket. Uh, I, I've also been working with Amon Tobin on mixes and uh, an artist on Universal named Jeremy Zucker. And um, let's see what else. Oh, I'm not, I'm not remembering everything. I know. <laughs> well, I'm working on an artist named uh, Boomboxes, which is a kind of a retro uh, rock thing. It, you know, mixing in Atmos is is a, a particular animal, and especially with different genres of music, you have to approach it in different ways. So the rock stuff where there's heavy drums, I'll concentrate on building the mix from the front back to the back. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a lot of work in the front wall and I'll put the drums and the bass usually in the front wall to kind of anchor the entire mix. Uh, and then uh, different objects and different instruments then can come out and, and go in different places in the room. So I think it's a, you know, you really have to approach these things differently. The Jason Isbell mixes are, uh, it's a very earthy, uh, a atmospheric record, and it's, it, it's roots country. So it, there's something really just uh, endearing about it, just the music itself. and. Jason is known for his murder ballads. So he sings, he's like Johnny Cash. He's like the modern Johnny Cash. Uh, so there's a, really something new and special about hearing this type of music in a surround format. Amazing. Well, I'm looking forward to checking them out. Well, thanks, yeah. Thanks so, so much, Sylvia. It's been amazing to see you. Excellent. Um, have nice a wonderful NAMM show. Okay, you too. <laughs>